Hey everyone, welcome back and in this episode we're going to take a look at using the webpack dev server because serving files from a file path uh, is not ideal. We'd rather be using it we would rather be using a proper server and serving it from a URL that we can use to navigate. So how do we go about doing this? So um let me put this to full screen so we don't need to see the browser anymore. And let me clear this. And let's install npm install into our develop uh, development dependencies uh, webpack dash dev dash server. So after that's installed, let's go into our package.json and there's our webpack dev server. Let's take this build command and copy it. Let's put a comma here. And for build, let me actually make this a little bit bigger. Let's do build colon dev, right? And at the end, let's put an end and we will say webpack dev server. So webpack dev server is a command line tool which spins up a node.js uh, server. Helps us, uh, helps us serve files basically. So next we want to config, uh, configure our webpack config. So let me hide the console real quick. And um, we basically want to say where on the file system will the dev server be looking for our dist folder, essentially where we're outputting and uh, where should uh, the dev, ser dev server should be reading the files from. All right. So the way I would configure it, dev server is we type in dev server. Okay. Put a comma at the bottom here. We want to specify the content base okay and in here let's say slash this slash pages right so we're going to be pointing to where we are outputting the pages okay let's also remove the clean webpack plugin since that might interfere that well not might it does interfere with the dev server so we don't really want it here and uh, if we remember the command build colon dev, so let's clear this and pm run build colon dev. And uh, pardon the watcher, make sure you comment out the watcher as well. That breaks the <laughs> webpack dev server. Since it, uh, the webpack goes into a loop and the, the webpack dev server never gets executed. Okay. So there we have our URL. Control click on that. And at the moment, it, it still can't get the. Basically says, I, know, I, I can't get the files. I don't know what's up. So let me hide the console. And the way we want to sort this is basically what's going on is where we output the files and where we read the files from. The webpack dev server uses a virtual directory and um, if you don't configure this correctly, like the webpack doesn't know where it's putting the files and the dev server doesn't know where it's reading from. So long story short, the way to fix this is we want to import uh, or rather require a path resolver, which we, which we can use to resolve paths. And instead of providing the content base like so, let's do path dot resolve, and this will be dir name. So this will be the current directory name. Um, again, if I just bring your attention here, so you see, content not from webpack is served from slash this slash pages, right? So you will see how that changes in the future. So just pay attention to this line right here. Um, Let's go their name, dist, and pages. And for our output, output we want to specify path, path dot resolve, and same their name, and dist. Cool. Let's open up command line stop. Let's run the dev server again.
And here you can see that the content not from Webpack is being served from the proper directory now that it finds on our disk. Okay, so let's follow the link once again. I may open this and you can see that now our application is being served from a local host address. So yours will probably 8080. I already have an application running on 8081. So that's why it incremented it. And you can navigate from page to page. And uh, if we look in the network tab, you can see this uh, WebSockets protocol. And this is basically uh, something that's used to stream content. So the uh, file sizes are a little bit uh, checked up. And uh, they don't really represent how much is actually going to be streamed once you are actually serving your application over the internet. Yeah, essentially, this is how you set up a server and uh, sort of uh, serve your application from an actual web address, or rather your local host, allowing you to mimic uh, sort of how your website will uh, behave in uh, a real world environment. So I'll stop this. This will be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. And as always, any questions, leave them in the comments. Like, subscribe if you're enjoying this series, and see you in the next episode.